Hello, Algebra 2 students. How are we doing out there? Nice to see you. Hope things are going all right. We're working our way through May, uh, making pretty good progress. Actually, this is the second to last uh, math assignment that you'll have this year. So this one and one more, and you'll be done with Algebra 2. So credit to you, most of you, almost all of you are making it way, your way through and doing a pretty good job with it. So for those that are moving on to uh, pre-calc or calculus eventually, um, this trig information is uh, quite valuable. Uh, you're going to use a lot of this stuff um, applying it to later math classes. And so far, so good. Especially last week, you did a really good job with it. So we're going to introduce uh, radians. It's a different angle measure um, this week. Um, before that, uh, I was talking to Cinderella the other day, and you know, what do we... What did she say, you might ask? What did she say when she, you know, she'd been waiting for her senior photos all along and they just aren't coming in the mail? And what is it that she said after all this? She said, do you hear the dogs? They want to hear too. She said, someday my prince will come. Prince. All right, segue to math. All right, so I'm going to ask you uh, a couple things. We're going to we're going to find um, we're going to convert angles from degrees to radians, and vice versa. And we're also going to talk about uh, coterminal angles. And lastly, we're going to apply kind of what we did last week to this week. There's going to be a little bit of reinforcing what we did last week, and then we're going to do the same thing, but for radian measure. But the first thing we're going to do from degrees to radians, all you have to do is multiply your angle by pi over 180. Okay, so if I have uh, 90 degrees, what is that in radians? So 90 degrees, if we wanted to convert that to radians, you just multiply by pi over 180 and simplify, and that's it. Okay, so we could do 90, make it over 1, 90 pi over 180, but ultimately you're just simplifying the fraction part. 90 over 180 is just 1 half. So it's 1 half pi or you would say pi over 2. So 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians. So that angle, 90 degrees, is right there. That's 90 degrees. Pi over 2 in radians is also that angle. It's just a different way of measuring the angle. Notice there's no little degree sign. If you see an angle that's measured in radians, it won't have a degrees. This will have a degrees. All right, so how about... Um, 120 degrees. See if we can convert that to radians. So again, we multiply by pi over 180, and here's where you can grab your calculator. So graphing calculator, um, you can multiply. We could just figure out 120 is as a fraction, 120 over 180. So type that into your calculator, and then hit the frac button. So it's math, enter, enter, and it'll change it to a fraction for you. So if you don't want to do it by hand, just do this, math, enter, enter, and it'll go frac, and it'll become two-thirds. So we get two-thirds, but we still have the pi there. So it's two-thirds pi. So we would say, we always move the pi to the top, two pi over three. So that's our answer. So you can rely on the calculator for going degrees to radians. Just ignore the pi and just do 120 over 180, frac it. And you get the fraction, and then toss the pi up on top. Um, just another example, 330 degrees. If we wanted to convert it to radians, you'd multiply by pi over 180. So it's 330 over 180 pi. So let's see, 330, that is 11 twelfths. So 3 goes in there 11 times, 3 goes in there. I'm sorry, 11 six. So it'd be 
11 pi over 6. Okay, so this is 11 sixth on your calculator, and then you can just make it 11 pi over 6. Um, okay, so that's converting degrees to radians. Um, you have to go with the other way. So we're going to convert radians to degrees. So if we're going to go radians to degrees, then we would multiply by 180 over pi. Okay, so before we multiplied by pi over 180, now we're just doing 180 over pi. So example, if I have pi over 3, and I want to make that into degrees, so you'd multiply by 180 over pi. The pi's are going to cross off. 180 divided by 3 is 60 degrees. Okay, so another example. If I had... 5 pi over 4. If I wanted to convert that, keep bumping it. If I wanted to convert that to degrees, you'd multiply by 180 over pi. Pi is cross off. 5 times 180 divided by 4 is, um, let's see, 180 plus 4, 225 degrees. Okay, so just multiply by 180 over pi. And that you'll get then you'll get the degrees all right i'm gonna stop there and talk about a couple more things in the next video